Hello, fellow YouTubers. Uh, today I've come back with a redstone thing. I haven't. Oh, well, yeah, I actually did do one in a while. And it's not a command block box, but um, it's a plot system based off the ones in servers that use plugins. But in survival, I'd need to revamp it to make it more multiplayer friendly. But here's a single player version of just like one plot. But here it is. My plot. I don't know the dimensions. This just marks how high you can build. Because apparently I can't build any higher. That's as high as I can go. And here. Stuff. I also have this control panel. So we can save the plot. Load from my saved plot or clear plot. So, this is a display plot, which I'll explain all three of these plots later. This is the edit plot. This is the display plot, which would be like what people see of your plot. And this is a save plot, a placeholder plot. Uh, so let's just say I'm gonna build a house. Let me just build a really terrible uh, house now. Mm, there. It's obviously not the best thing, but as you can see, it's copying it. If you look over there and over here, you can see it's copying exactly what I'm building. Anyways, people who uh, know command blocks probably already know how this works. But I always wanted to do plots. I don't know if anyone else has done it because I didn't look at videos. So this is like completely me. But if you can't put entities, it won't clone over it. It won't like show entities on your thing. Your display thing. So let's just uh, put down a torch. And a chest. And put something in the chest just to show it clones over that too. Do your display. Oh no. So, over here, here's our clone plot where we cannot break anything because it regenerates itself after the time it updates. So, we can't break anything. And we can't build anything. So just like in normal server plots, you can't do anything to that person's plot unless you're part of the team or something. So yeah. So no matter what I try, can't. It just... there. Also, it keeps the torch's direction. Infinite torches, but yeah, it keeps torches directions too, and it keeps whatever's in your chest, except you can only open it for like a second because of the system. Uh, so there's also the control panel before I go into redstone, just gonna showcase it. The redstone, we have clear plot, load from save and save plot. So I'm gonna uh clear my plot, which will clear everything, even the snow, which is good. And I can load from save, which I had a house sort of in progress. So it's sort of like you can have two things if you're working on something, realize you didn't want it. But the, actually, the save came in handy when I accidentally went to save the plot, but ended up clicking clear plot instead. So I accidentally cleared the plot, like so. So that happened. And I, then I remembered I saved my plot, so I could just go back for my last save. I just accidentally saved my plot. That was a really stupid thing to do. <laughs> I just... Wow, I saved the plot with nothing on it. And then... Shoot. Okay. I'll show you what else you can do, I guess. So, I need a sapling... And bone meal. Lots of bone meal. Oh, wait, just need one bone meal, right? Yeah. So, 
we'll put our tree down and wait till it grows when won't okay sapling how about an oak tree oak tree should go grow 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 okay here so we see we have a tree but not in our safe plot but we can save our plot so that now there's a tree there so that if we accidentally clear a plot we can still load from our save just don't save clean plots onto your save plot unless you wanted to start over I might get rid of the save function later I don't know so like we could put like wildlife here or well life it'll show up there but not on our saved because it doesn't run on the system so we'd have to manually save it all right so i'm going to clear actually no i won't clear this plot so this is the whole entire system running this just one command block but three i guess if you count this well other than the control panels but what's running the uh cloned one as you can see we also it you can't, it clones up to, uh, two blocks down, so you can have floors and, like, a basic pool. That's one block deep. But this is obviously gonna use coordinates that you're gonna have to use on your server. So, basically, here, it's cloning from this, from the edit plot two blocks down from here so that'd be a block right here that's how far it would clone from like this block that's the diorite all the way up to this block over here which signifies how high you can do it and it's constantly cloning itself which is why it keeps updating itself and why you can't break or add anything because that's not in the original plot. It's also doing replace. Yeah, because. See, as we can see, if we break that, nothing happens. So that's how far it goes. It's meaning you can only edit on this plot right here and not other plots. Not that plot. So this would be like a display. Oh no, oh no. Okay. okay, and then on our save plot, I'll just go over what's in that too. So, when you save your plot, it goes, it save, it uh, clones your area, your plot, over to that plot. And that's how it saves. Pretty simple. To load from save, it clones that plot over to this plot. And to clear the plot, it uses two commands. Well, first, let me just clear my plot. So, first, I think these happen at the same time when you stack them on top of each other, which makes it look seamless. But it's filling everything from the two block down corner I showed, I showed there up to here with air. Well, no, not over there. It's, like, here. So then the barriers don't get uh, destroyed. So it clones everything from the building space here. Well, two blocks down here. And up to... A block here. I'll just show that right now. Up to there. And fills that with air, which... Also means it gets rid of all the grass for two blocks. So if we like, get rid of this command block, which has uh, this command, right? Yep. And we clear the plot, it would look like this. But this command stops this from happening. Let me just clear the plot again. Okay. So, when this happens... It fills everything from this, the bottom corner over here, all the way up to this corner right here. Like, fills it with grass from there to 
There, which puts the grass back seamlessly. So that's just a simple plot thing, but I always had the idea with the clone command. Oh, so that's it. That's all to it. I bet this could be used for things like, I don't know, building competitions on like vanilla or something. I don't honestly know. But I did like the idea, so. Anyways. MB Burns 49, signing out.